What's up everybody and welcome back to Morfab Industries. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the new name. A lot of you guys really like it too and that's awesome because I love it. Absolutely love it. But anywho, today what we're getting into, doing a little bit of something. We're going to head down to uh, Logan Steel and we're going to get... Oh my god, why are these things so heavy? We're going to get the Mugen Fugen Spugen Dugan powder coated. So yeah, we're gonna make this thing look super, super nice. Get it powder coated for our customer, make it look beautiful. And then while we're at Logan, we need to pick up some steel because we have someone who likes stance and wants more camber. So we're actually going to put about an inch of length into this lower control arm for a Civic so that he can get more camber out of it. So while we're at Logan, we're gonna pick up some steel so that we can cut that and that's going to be our main project for today we're actually going to uh just drop the valve cover off and then we're going to pick up some steel to actually box that in make it an inch longer and get that done so all right guys we're going to jump in the car and head to logan steel here we go Here we are guys, Logan Steel. These guys do everything. They, they just do everything. All the metal you want, all the powder coating you want, all the sandblasting you want, they do everything. All right, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna find Mike. And as soon as we find Mike, we're gonna give him this, uh, this Mugen valve cover to powder coat for us, and then uh, we're gonna grab some steel to do those control arms. So here we go, see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so Logan Steel saves again. We got the chunk of steel we were looking for and we even got a sweatshirt. Yeah, buddy. Again, Logan Steel, Meriden, these guys are always killing it. Love everything they do. Great, great, great guys to work with. 
All right, guys, so we're back from Logan. We picked up the uh, piece of steel that we needed, and we dropped the valve cover off for powder coating. Now, I'm just going to give you a rundown of what we're going to do to these control arms for this Honda. Um, I'm not going to film the entire thing because you guys have all seen people cutting metal before, so I'm going to get everything cut, get it all tacked up, and then I'll bring you guys in for the actual welding shots so that you can see what exactly it is we're doing. But just a, a quick, brief overview of what it is that we're doing with these things. Now, these are weird because they're stamped steel, so they're going to be a little funny to try to weld well. So I think what I'm going to do is actually cut it probably right about here. Get a nice straight cut, and then I'm going to take this piece of metal, which is exactly one inch, put it in there, tack it up, and then we're going to plate this side, plate that side, and make sure that this is strong enough to hold what's going on. Now this is going on basically a show car, so it's not really something that needs to be super duper strong, but we're going to make it that way anyway, because this is a part of the suspension. You don't necessarily want to mess around with this stuff. So we'll make it as strong as possible. And uh, I'll bring you guys back as soon as we got everything fitted up. So here's what we're looking at. We got the piece in, left it a little high in the center for uh some more structural support. I'll lay a bead of weld down in there. And then we'll do the same thing across the back. And then we're actually gonna add a side piece here and try to mold all that in. And then we'll add another piece over here and try to mold all that in so that it looks somewhat factory, but it's gonna have a, uh, a bit of a, a swoop to it. Now guys, I don't recommend you doing this. Holy crap, I got schmutz everywhere. I don't recommend doing this. It's not the safest thing in the world. If it's going to be for a show car and you're not driving it a lot, then by all means, do whatever you got to do. But please don't rely on this to be the thing that holds your car together. Because anytime you modify a stamp steel or a factory cast iron part, there's potential that it could break. So just a little bit of a warning there. Don't do this at home. Alrighty, so she's all welded. There's the front side. The back side. Now we gotta make the plates for this side and that side and then we'll clean everything up and we'll bring you back. 
and the first one is finished. We just kind of hit it with a flap wheel, try to keep some of the original contours of the control arm. You can see the piece we added in here is actually pretty thick. It's a one inch by one inch chunk of steel. We got it welded 100% all the way through there, all the way through the front. And then you flip it over. Weld it all on the bottom, all the way through there, all the way through there. Now we just need to do the second one. It's late, I'm tired. I'm gonna do the second one tomorrow, but you guys get the gist. The uh, second one's gonna look just like the first one, so I'm gonna get to doing that. We got a little bit of something interesting that's gonna be popping up in a video in the next couple of days. and. That's not small. So yeah, in the next video, we'll show you what we're going to be doing with that guy. And uh, <laughs> yeah, what it's actually going on. But we'll get to that. But anywho, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check out Logan Steel. If you guys are local to Meriden or local to the center of Connecticut, any steel that you need, I know a lot of, a lot of my subscribers are learning how to weld. They have a place called the Bargain Barn where you buy steel and aluminum by the pound. So basically, mild steel, just basic steel, is a dollar a pound. So when you go in there and you buy it, if you get 50 pounds of steel, which is a lot, you're paying 50 bucks and you can practice forever. So go check out Logan Steel. Not only do they have steel, they have aluminum, stainless, uh, they do powder coating, they do sandblasting, they do huge projects. I mean, you can give them an entire truck frame and they can powder coat and sandblast it. So. Check them out, Logan Steel. I'll link their Instagram down in the description so that you can go uh, go check it. But yeah, so that's today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good night.